you're probably wondering what is on my head right now. Well, I couldn't decide which beanie to wear today, so I just thought I'd combine them both. I like to consider myself a fashion icon, so not everyone's gonna understand. Anyway, I've got a question for you guys. Do you remember Lil Tay? I don't know what's going on with her. I think she must have stopped with Instagram, stopped making videos, because I haven't seen a video of hers since, like, for summer, last summer. In fact, saying that, I haven't even heard anyone talk about her for months now. But if you remember, she got famous or popular on Instagram for claiming to be the youngest flexer, and she would make all these videos flexing with cars and money and whatever else you can flex with. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a new flexer on the block. Michael Daddy 51 Now, Michael Daddy 51 has been blowing up on Twitter recently. I've seen a whole bunch of his tweets get reposted to Instagram. He's definitely the biggest flexer that I've came across on social media in a very long time. Constantly flexing his money, his watches. Not only that, but he's also very open when it comes to uh, sharing his experiences that he has with women. Fuck, this posse is so trash. Thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you for sharing that. But not only that, a lot of people follow him because of his, uh, I guess you could say, wise words. His quotes. Y'all really paying for pussy pics when you can just take a selfie. Hashtag look in the mirror. He just roasted everyone that has ever paid for a premium Snapchat ever in one tweet. Straight from the bio, this man is flexing. Talk to me if in need of a sugar daddy. Perfect bio, lets the reader know instantly that he's got money. It really complements his profile cover picture, which is a picture of him holding a stack of money to his ear as a phone. Haven't flexed in a while, gotta show you broke bitches that I'm still on top. See, the difference between Lil Tay's flexing is that she always felt the need to yell in her videos. I'm a nine -year -old millionaire. Telling us how much money she's got, or what car she just bought, or whatever. But with Michael Daddy 51 he didn't even need to say a single word. He literally let the money do the talking here. Actions speak louder than words. I think, I think actually Michael Daddy 51 came up with that saying. Come on, Michael. Um, we we know you've got money. You need to hire an editor for these videos. This is like a 2007 Windows Movie Maker transition. Gonna go buy some pussy. And uh, he attached a picture of himself stanced up. I want to know who took the picture, or more importantly, what he said to them. Hey, babe, uh, take a quick picture of me real quick. I'm about to go buy some pussy. That is the new stance for when you're about to go buy some pussy. Um... You know, just in one of those situations where you go buy some pussy, you know? I think we all relate to that. Make sure you guys take your own stanced up pictures and tweet them at me. Praying for you virgins before I go to sleep. Oh, wow. Thank you, Michael, for praying for me. I really do appreciate that. Stop questioning my wealth and focus on yours. Oh, what a powerful statement. But it's funny, actually. I was about to say, like, I wonder what Michael does, you know? Like, what? where is this money coming from? We see the stacks of money in his tweets, and I'm just wondering, you know, where it's coming from. What does Michael do? But I guess, like he said, I should stop questioning his wealth and focus on my own. And so that's exactly what I did. I went and bought my own iced out watch from eBay. Look at that, real diamonds, you can see them shining. The beautiful part about this eBay watch that I picked up for eight pounds, which is I think $12. The beautiful part about this eBay watch is that it will turn your wrist green from the metal that it's made out of. There you go, what do you guys think? That's the best it fits me. Yeah, it's kind of loose. I spent a whole $12 on that. <laughs> Don't question my wealth, just focus on your own. Help! I'm at a girl's house and her boyfriend just came home. I have a feeling that he's telling the truth. I mean, the, the picture that he attached with this seems authentic. This could potentially be a great video game mission. I'm thinking of a stealth mission, like, uh, you know the what the, you know the mission in the Madagascar video game? Where you're playing as the penguins and you have to sneak past the sailors on the ship without being caught? Well, this mission will be similar. You're playing as Michael Daddy 51 and you've got to escape this woman's house without being caught by her boyfriends. So, if any game developer are watching this video right now, feel free to make that happen. I'm going to sleep now, guys. Good night. I can't explain the feelings I have for you right now. I don't know why. I... I just can't think straight. Well, I think I can explain that, actually, from another one of Michael's tweets. When I'm in love, I can't think straight. Did he facetune this picture? These past two tweets have been kind of soft. It really does show that he's got two sides to him. The soft side, when I'm in love, I can't think straight. And the don't test me side. Got new shoes for my date with your girl. At your girl's house, she says hi. I got the cheese, I got the cheddar, you little broke boys could never. Hashtag boss up. I like how he's actually holding cheese when he's referring 
to the money. But I'm I'm su I'm starting to suspect that he's not coming up with these captions on his own. I'm gonna have to Google this just to see what it comes up with because I feel like it might be song lyrics or something. I got the cheese, I got the cheddar, you little broke boys could never. Actually, uh... <laughs> Nothing comes up, no matches. You really did come up with this one. I'm a king and y'all broke are my servants. I'm the hero the hood needs. Hashtag hood favorite. What is this edit? This is this edit is um oh what am I thinking? This is one of those MLG edits, remember from back in the day? Come on, Michael, you don't need to Photoshop the chain. We know you've got enough money to buy one. The amount of sympathy I have for you broke bitches. Hashtag money made Michael. Just because my eye is messed up doesn't mean my penis is. Hashtag love my wife. Remember earlier in the video when I was wondering who took that picture of him? I was wondering if he had a wife or a girlfriend that he lived with that took the picture for him. So I think this hashtag confirms that he's got a wife. But if he's got a wife, then why is he buying pus- what, What's going on? Hey babe, take this picture real quick. Just did my taxes, ladies. Well, at least Michael Daddy 51 does his taxes, unlike Blake. And in this picture, he's doing the money phone. And he also put the seatbelt over the money, you know, gotta take care of it. But yeah, that is it. That's the new biggest internet flexor. There's always that one flexor every now and then that just comes out of nowhere. And Michael Daddy 51 is the latest one of them. But yeah, that is gonna be it for this video, guys. So.